lovely people welcome back to my channel i am so delighted you're joining me today because you're going to be finding this video very useful if you've not subscribed to my channel just take a second and click the red subscribe button don't also forget to turn on the notification bell because that will let you know when i drop brand new videos so with that said guys let's just go right into the video and i'm going to be giving you five different hacks or things that you can do with your sanitary towel that has nothing to do with your monthly flow i'm just sharing this because they can come in useful or it might be somewhere it might be an emergency it might just be like something you need to like think of right outside the box something that you need to now you need an immediate solution to so rather than like you like racking your brain and thinking of what to do i've got a solution for you so these are things you can do with your sanitary towel aside being a sanitary towel okay the first thing i'll talk and which i like used which came in very handy for me was to use my sanitary towel as breast pads yes if a sanitary towel can like absorb blood and all that what else can it absorb it can absorb water and every other thing i was in an emergency situation and i had nothing around me that i could i could use i was somewhere for an event and because i am like three months postpartum i have a breastfeeding baby i lactate and all that my clothes were wet the breast pads i used were like completely soaked and i had to go somewhere i checked around the house i checked where i was i was not in my house to be honest i checked around or they even helped me to check we could find nothing and my sister was like would you use a sanitary towel and i was like sanitary towel guys i used it and it absorbed like I went out all night and I was not like embarrassed for like my sh clothes getting wet because that happens to me many times like if I don't know I could go out and my clothes can like just get wet because of the fact that I'm lactating and all that so guys if you find yourself in an embarrassing situation rather being embarrassed what do you do nobody will know that that is what you have inside of you do you get so Better get the sanitary towel to the rescue before you go on to embarrass yourself. And guys, it was okay. It was sanitary for me. Because come on, if you can go down there, where else can't it go? So it was perfect. And it held on very well. I like I went back home. It felt heavy, definitely. Of course, like with any other like breast pads will be, but it was perfect for what I wanted it for. I didn't have to like go like looking everywhere because I was somewhere that I couldn't lay my hand on my breast pads i could even get to a store where they sell and all that and that came to my rescue so if you ever find yourself in that kind of embarrassing situation please just if you can grab sanitary towels i think that is easier sanitary towels are like more accessible to get than breast pads you can almost get a sanitary towel in any shop but it's not easy for you to get breast pads in almost any shop I believe that work for you okay what do you think yes or no let me know in the comment section the second thing you can use a sanitary towel for is as air freshener goodness guys just like i said because it absorbs moisture it absorbs liquid you can use it this is what i do like instead of like spraying the room and the smell evaporating what i do is i just grab my sanitary towel i pour some i pour some air freshening liquid on it for example zoflora and i can just stick it to my wardrobe and it can be there it would diffuse in the wardrobe it would diffuse all around the room and you have like fresh breath or free and you have a fresh smell a fresh aroma a fresh lovely fragrance anytime you enter your room i like this very much i even do it from like my lockers as well and anywhere i just want like a long lasting smell for me it lasts longer the smell lingers more because of the trapped moisture in the sanitary towel rather than you like just like spraying the rooms so if i just want the smell to linger and i just want a lingering smell this is what i do exactly 
and it helps me a great deal the third thing you can do with your sanitary towel is to help manage sweaty feet and like smelling shoes most times the reason why your shoes might smell your sneakers your shoes basically your boots is because of smelling feet most times i wear socks or in fact not most times every time i wear socks if you don't wear socks in your shoes especially like your boots your sneakers it will smell even some kind of like sh other shoes like pumps and all that you might not feel comfortable wearing socks in them and i totally understand but if you're someone that you have like sweaty feet which can lead on to like smelly feet and smelly shoes what i would advise you to do is to like open up like a sanitary towel and like stick it in the shoe or like your sneakers your trainers your canvas anything your boots before you wear the shoes it will help to like absorb all those excess moisture and you can easily throw it out and just like toss it away you are throwing away the dirt and all that smell away you can still wear your socks definitely this is what i would advise you to do can still wear your socks and you can still use the sanitary towel as well if you feel the sanitary towel is going to be very bulky because of course it might be bulky and you might be uncomfortable you can use like a panty liner instead i would suggest using a panty liner for like your palms your normal heeled shoes even for sandals if you do it discreetly trust me nobody will know you have anything down there and sorry anything there i mean in your feet and it will help to absorb all the excess moisture all the sweat and you have that kind of embarrassing situation whereby maybe there's a need for you to take off your shoes and everybody's closing their nose or like like what's that smell what's that smell what's that smell the smell can be horrible so if you're someone that you have sweaty feet in fact almost everybody has that at some point by the time you've worn your shoes for a long time it will sweat definitely so wear your socks and use a stick on panty liner or sanitary towel to help you absorb all the moisture that would give rise to the smell and all the dirt so that's another hack for you over there this leads me to my next hack and this is for your underarm it's the same thing it's the same principle if you're someone that you sweat a lot and you're somewhere sweat is good definitely this is not to make anybody feel bad we all have different levels some people sweat more than others and all but it's perfectly fine but if you're someone that you're perhaps going for something an important event and you know that you're going to be sweating a lot i would advise you to like take a panty liner of course in this case please use a panty liner don't use a sanitary towel because the sanitary towel might be bulky it depends on the sanitary towel you use anyway and it depends on your clothing too but if you feel it's going to be bulky use a panty liner panty liners are also good you can just take a panty liner on either your shirt or just like underneath your arm this will help you to absorb all the excess moisture one thing is of course there will be no um bad odor the second thing is you don't want to have that map of like a sweaty map and all that that will appear on your shirt that will appear on your dress and all that because it just looks like a bit off it might look unkempt it might not look all put together and that is not what you want so if you're looking for how to remedy that situation get rid of sweaty underarms and all that just stick a panty liner if you can depending on the brand of sanitary towel you use you can use a sanitary towel as well it will help you to absorb all that sweat absorb everything without leaving all those marks behind and the last thing is of course this is not the ideal situation just like i spoke about using sanitary towels for breast pad it's not the ideal situation but when push comes to shove and you don't have any other option what do you do guys you look for whatever is available for you so if you want to protect delicate stuff and probably you don't have bubble wraps around you don't have old newspapers around what else can you use you don't have papers around that you can use to protect delicate stuff use a sanitary towel and it will help you there are times probably you want to Go on a trip you want to travel you want to like transport stuff from one place to the other and they're really delicate stuff sometimes it's not even about it like being expensive but sometimes you're going somewhere that you're new to you don't know whether you can go shopping immediately you just need to have that thing and you want it protected at all cost you definitely want to protect it so whatever it will take protect it just remove your 
sanitary towel and use it to wrap around the stuff you are using it might be glassware it might be anything it might be jewelry it might be anything there's so many things you want to protect that you don't want messed up from point a to point b and if you don't have anything like bubble wraps newspapers please just grab your sanitary towel and use it to protect it the major thing is that it arrives at your destination regardless of what you used to protect it the major point is that you have your peace whole nobody cares whatever you use them protecting it the major thing is you have whatever you want so guys these are my top five hacks for sanitary towels that have nothing to do with your monthly period let, let me know if you have any other hacks i'll be reading them in the comment section below and please share because somebody might need this bit of information be your neighbor's keeper thank you for watching i'll see you in my subsequent videos stay beautiful stay healthy stay safe bye